Hey folks, how are you all doing? I am happy to welcome you all to Flick Expose, where we expose the latest news and gossip from the world of Hollywood movies and series. Well, in today's video, we are going to reveal everything about the dark, mysterious, and new villain of Transformers, Rise of the Beasts. He is none other than Scourge. Have you ever wondered who exactly Scourge is and what does he want? How does he relate to the comics and the previous movies? Who is the voice behind this mysterious character? And how powerful is he compared to Megatron and other villains? Well, don't worry I'm here to reveal all including his endgame scenarios in this movie. So, buckle up and get ready for a ride into the dark side of the Transformers universe. You are watching, Who is Scourge? The mysterious villain of Transformers. Rise of the Beasts explained. Have you all ever wondered what Scourge's connection to the Transformers mythology is? Well, if you see Transformers, Rise of the Beast is the seventh movie in the live-action series, and it is bringing some of the biggest characters from the Beast Wars storylines. Instead of just focusing on the Autobots and Decepticons like before, this movie is introducing Maximals, Terracons, and Predacons. This means we will see popular Maximals like Optimus Primal join forces with returning Autobots like Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. In the previous six Transformers movies, a Decepticon has always been the main enemy for the Autobots and their human friends. We've seen Megatron, The Fallen, Shockwave, Lockdown, and Quintessa threaten the Autobots and humanity in Michael Bay's sequels. Scourge transforms into a semi-truck with a flaming skull on it. He is the leader of the Terracons, a group of evil robots. They are also allies with the Predacons, who are ancient foes of the Maximals. Scourge is a new and dangerous threat for the franchise and he is ready to make his mark in the live-action series. But wait a minute, who are these Maximals, Terracons, and Predacons anyway? And why should we care about them? Well, let me tell you a little bit about them without taking much time. They are different factions of Transformers that evolved from ancient Cybertronians who crash-landed on Earth millions of years ago. They have animal-like forms that allow them to blend in with their surroundings and survive harsh environments. They also have different personalities and goals that make them clash with each other. The Maximals are the good guys who value peace and harmony. They are led by Optimus Primal, a wise and noble leader who transforms into a gorilla. He is loyal to Optimus Prime and respects his legacy. The Terracons are the bad guys who love destruction and chaos. They are led by Scourge, a ruthless and cunning leader who transforms into a semi-truck. He is obsessed with power and wants to conquer everything in his path. The Predacons are the wild cards who have their own agenda. They are descendants of the Decepticons who transform into various predatory animals. They are not allies with anyone and will switch sides depending on their interests. So, now you know a little bit more about these new characters that will appear in Transformers. Rise of the Beasts. But what about Scourge? What makes him so special and dangerous? Scourge is a new and dangerous threat for the franchise and he is ready to make his mark in the live-action series. Scourge first appeared as a Transformers villain in 1986 animated the Transformers, the movie. He was a Decepticon tracker and hunter for Galvatron. He was created by Unicron from the body of a dead Transformer called Thundercracker. The character's origin has changed a few times over the years and in different toy lines and animated series. For this movie, it's is changing Scourge a bit to make him more badass and scary than ever before. In this movie, Scourge is also inspired by the animated series Transformers, Robots in Disguise. The show gave Scourge a new look through Megatron's plans, allowing Scourge to become part of a reprogrammed Autobot protoform. Scourge emerged after scanning Optimus Prime's design and attributes, making the Transformers villain Prime's evil twin with a new gray truck alt form. He's often shown as an arrogant character with big plans. So basically, Scourge is like Optimus Prime's evil brother who stole his identity and turned it into something dark and twisted. How creepy is that? Well, that's what Optimus Prime has to deal with in this movie. Scourge also has a rich history in the comics that makes him even more interesting and complex. Let's take a look at some of his comic book adventures. Scourge showed up many times in different comic book series, where he had different roles and appearances. Sometimes he was a hunter for Galvatron, sometimes he was a helper for Shockwave, and sometimes he was part of the Beast Wars story as one of the Maximals and Predacons. The most important stories about Transformers Scourge were in comics from the United Kingdom that happened at the same time as Transformers. The movie, that Scourge had many different facets and dimensions as a character, depending on the context and the timeline. He was not a one-dimensional villain, but a multi-layered antagonist who had his own motivations and conflicts. But who is the voice behind this mysterious character? 
Who is the actor who will bring Scourge to life on the big screen? Well, you might be surprised. Peter Dinklage is the voice of Scourge in Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Peter Dinklage is famous for playing Tyrion Lannister in Game of Thrones and has been in other big movies, like Itri in the Marvel movies and Dr. Bolivar Trask in the X-Men movies. But why did they choose Peter Dinklage to voice Scourge? Well, because he is an amazing actor who can deliver a powerful performance with his voice alone. He can convey emotion, humor, sarcasm, anger, and menace with his tone and inflection. He can also give Scourge a distinct personality and charisma that will make him stand out from other villains. He can also make Scourge sound like a worthy opponent for Optimus Prime and his allies. But how strong is Scourge compared to Megatron and other villains? How powerful are his weapons and abilities? Well, let's find out. Scourge is very dangerous in Transformers Rise of the Beasts because he is very strong. He is a bad robot from Unicron in the old G1 story, and he can do things that many other Transformers can't. He can find and track anyone, no matter if they are human or machine. Scourge's powers in the story also include many weapons. This should make him about as strong as Megatron was in other movies, but maybe not as strong as the Fallen. From what we have seen of Transformers Scourge and Rise of the Beasts, his weapons are more for his first movie. The bad guy has a big double-bladed sword that goes on his right hand, while his left hand is a big claw. Transformers Rise of the Beasts shows Scourge using these claws to hurt Bumblebee. He also has electric shock powers based on this movie. So, Scourge is not someone you want to mess with. He is armed with deadly weapons and skills that make him a formidable foe for anyone who crosses his path. He is also ruthless and cunning, and will stop at nothing to achieve his goals. Finally, what are his goals? What does he want from Earth and the Transformers? And how does he relate to Unicron, the planet-eating monster? Well, let's find out. But be warned, this section contains spoilers for Transformers Rise of the Beasts. If you haven't seen the movie yet and don't want to ruin the surprise, skip this part and watch the movie first. You have been warned. So, what happens to Scourge in Transformers Rise of the Beasts? Does he succeed in his plan to bring Unicron to Earth? Does he survive the final battle with Optimus Prime and his allies? Well, the answer is no. Even though Scourge succeeded in gathering the joint pieces of the Transwarp Key, he is defeated by Optimus Prime in an epic showdown that ends with Prime ripping off Scourge's head and throwing it away. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. But what about Unicron? Does he show up in the movie? Does he pose a threat to Earth and the Transformers? Well, the answer is yes and no. Unicron does show up in the movie, but only as a cameo. He does not interact with any of the characters or do anything in the movie. He just halfway entered Earth, but since the Autobots destroyed the Transwarp Key, Unicron's plan has failed. He is just there as a tease for future movies. So, what does this mean for Scourge and Unicron? Will they ever come back in future movies? Well, that's hard to say. Scourge seems to be dead for good, unless they find some way to revive him or bring him back from another timeline. Unicron seems to be alive and well, but he is not active or involved in the story yet. He might be waiting for the right moment to strike or he might be unaware of what's happening on Earth. He might also be part of a bigger plan that involves other characters or factions. So, there you have it. That's what happens to Scourge and Unicron in Transformers Rise of the Beasts. What do you think of this outcome? Are you satisfied with how Scourge was defeated? Are you disappointed that Unicron did not do anything in the movie? Are you excited for future movies that might feature Unicron or other villains? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. Thanks for watching Flick Expose and see you next time.